Hey, this is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, we will be a little more interactive and ask the user for input on the command line. In the last videos, we were kind of static because we just added commands and arguments and flags. And this time, we will ask the user for input on the command line. Well, in some situations, it's important that the user can influence a given project name or folder name or file name. So Let's just jump right into the code and create a new command within the commands folder and let's name it ask because we want to ask the user for input on the command line. So let's change that over here and just rename it. Remove all arguments and flags. Okay, so let's go with an empty handle method. And from here, we want to ask the user for input. So we want to await a method that is provided by ACE and it's called ask. And you need to provide an argument, it's a question. So let's go with our standard question from here. So with a name and let's say, what's your name? And let's just console log it to the command line. So let's go for the input and that's it for now. Switching to item and let's start this one. You can see that our ask command isn't registered yet. So we need to add that and let's add it over here. All right, starting again and there you go, there it is. So let's ask the user for input and I will just provide my name and there you go. So you can see immediately the output is logged on the console, which is totally fine. So there's another thing I want to show you, which is the default answer. So let's say you always require a specific answer or you want to provide a specific default answer that is used if the user doesn't provide an input. So I want to show you what happens if I don't provide a name over here. As you can see it's still empty, but usually you want to provide a default value so that you don't run into like a null pointer or an empty value, which isn't allowed on specific files or file names, whatever. So going back to our ask command, maybe you want to provide a default name like stranger, which is the default answer we used in the hello command, but let's go with it for now and just pump up our input on the console, like just using it with a template literal and no, must go over here. All right, so switching back to item and let's ask again. So you can see Ace provides the default answer and in gray in brackets. So if you don't type a name like Marcus, you will see that the, it falls back to stranger, which is really nice. So there's always a value. And let's ask again, if we pass our custom name, it will pass it in over here. And that's it. You can simply ask a question to the user and grab the answer from the input. You need to await the this.ask method from Ace and it will assign the value to a variable and that's all you need. All right, so in the next video, we will go a step further and ask the user a yes or no question. So see you there.